Welcome to the Richmond Jail here, a historic site in Richmond. 1825, the sign says. And as I'm just about to step inside and share this with you, I'll read you the intro. It says, every move you made, someone was watching. That's how it was in Governor George Arthur's convict system. If you were a convict in Tasmania between 1825 and 1853, every detail of your life was recorded. Your tattoos, scars, color of eyes and hair, height and weight, as well as your sentence, conduct, punishments, and assignment, all written by hand in Arthur's black books. So let's go inside and take a look of the Richmond, take a, uh, a tour of the Richmond Jail. I've already paid my price of admission, which was uh, all of all of $10 Australian, which would probably set me back about $7 in American. But it is, uh, this jail is preserved just the way it was. So as I walk in, you are, uh, you're experiencing it as if you were here back in the, uh, back in the day. Look at that. Even the clock. We've got all types of a collection of keys on the wall here. Wow. And then if you're so inclined you can step into the gift shop. Maybe get yourself a refrigerator magnet key to take with you. Look at some of that. But what I'm interested in is actually going in to the jail itself. Let's see. Look at this. Wow. And just as I'm doing this, the sun, the sun is coming out. This would be the Gohler's, jailer's residence right here. And it says push, and so I will. smell the it's almost like mildew yeah, little bed wall right there wow. you can read up on the history of this online but just actually walking through it Ordered, counted, stored. In the early days of county stores, regularly took over three months to arrive from Britain or the Far East. I think this would probably be the storeroom right here. Wow. There's something. Javelin men's room. Since the township was started, it was uh, part of the police district. The jail and Look the courthouse went together. Uh, Richmond was also on the main road up the east coast in the early days, so that's partly why they probably chose to put the jail here. Well, so it's a lovely scene. Very, very well preserved. We'll go up to the commanding view of the jailer's rooms. It says the jailer lived up here where they had a clear view and if you were retiring for the night this would have been your your view right here look at this wow lord I believe right above the, the fireplace and I don't know about you but this bed right here doesn't necessarily seem to be the most comfortable. Wow. That's something. Really something else. And I'll share with you the, the view out the window. When they weren't looking at the convicts, they were looking out at this view here. Look at how beautiful Tasmania is. 
just gorgeous. Really beautiful. All right, let's go check out some of the other other parts of the jail here. These two, these two doorways, one on the right will take you to the woman's room and on the left will take you to the woman's solitary. And I'll share this with you and as I do, I'll read a little bit out of the tour guide. Of Australia's early convicts, 20% were women, typically convicted of pickpocketing, shoplifting, or prostitution, often to feed their starving children, mind you. Most were sent to female factories to produce textiles, while others were assigned as servants. Look at this. It was unusual for women and men to occupy the same jail in early colonial Australia. Many women were held at Richmond for a short time while en route to one of the colony's female factories. Look at this. Richmond solitary cells and adjacent rooms are some of the best preserved structures for female convicts in Tasmania. Look at this. Wow. Look at this old. This was a mangle. After washing, a mangle was used to wring excess water from a garment. Look at that. And this would be a, a washing machine. Slowly turn the wheel to see how the gears work to agitate the washing inside the tub. Oh, those were the days, huh? Now this is the solitary confinement. This is Emma Martin. Her offense was insolence. 21 days solitary confinement, bread and water. Look at that. You imagine. Wow. They used the bucket as a toilet. Here's another. Look at this. Actually come inside and close the door. So this is all you would have been looking at. Look at is it and I don't think they had light back then. I doubt they did. Look at this solitary confinement. Oh if these walls and floor could talk. Uh oh, I can't open the door. Uh oh. Uh oh. Who's Oh no. Oh, okay. Good. I got it. All right. Boy, that was close. I didn't want to get stuck in solitary confinement. And they have stories about the different people that were here. Oh, this really is something to see. This is the, the cookhouse here at the Richmond Jail. Fresh baked bread. In this room, bread was baked and food was cooked using the wood-fired oven. The cook was usually a convict from the local working. Working inside a warm cookhouse must have been a favorite job. Well. Quite well preserved. This probably would have been uh, the pantry, the bread trough from the old Richmond Bakery. Here's a depiction of the... Look at that. You can see that. It's always hard through the glare of the glass to try to share that with you. Here you have the, the flogging yard. Look at this. This would be the, the flogging yard. 
probably not a place you wanted to find yourself between here and the solitary confinement, I'm sure. Here's your, here's your toilet. Really something else. This right here is the I'm not sure what this is to be quite honest with you. Look at that ceiling. That why does it keep that and die again? And the um the um the cost of opening your face. Convict's clothing. That's that's what you were wearing back in the day if you were a convict. Look at that. Boy, this is quite well preserved. Home sweet home. This was the goalkeeper, jail keeper's quarters, right here. Really something to see. This is the day room. No shortage of fireplaces. So I'm sure they were much needed and appreciated. Look at these chains here. I don't know how well you can see this, but chain to the wall. This was the punishment cell. Look at that. Chain to the wall. Wow. This is home of the javelin then. Okay, folks, so I think that I've shared a good majority of the prison with you, or the jail, I should say. Over here you have the men's solitary, and I can't imagine this would necessarily look much different than the, than the women's. And as the sign says, exit and push. And so I will. So that was your uh, that was your tour of the Richmond Jail. What a uh, what an interesting place to visit. I don't think I'd want to. I don't think I'd want to live here though. Wow. All right. Have a great day.